So this was the first time that we could show data on our large AT21 trial, which is an international trial with many countries contributing. And we have randomized 1,500 patients into that trial, which compares our standard of care, pet guard escalated vehicle, to the new breed cat regimen, which is a modified BioCorp regimen, and it's modified with the use of brentuximab vidotin, an antibody drug conjugate targeting CD30. So by using this new compound, we could um, further, we thought and we hoped that we could further improve the tolerability of the escalated BioCorp regimen by omitting bleomycin, for example, by going down from 14 to only four days of steroids, by using Dercarvacin instead of Procarvacin. So we had many different improvements, hopefully improvements in the regimen. And what we now have uh, investigated is the question whether or not the treatment-related morbidity is lower than with escalated BioCOP. So this was an analysis on safety, but not on efficacy yet, not yet on efficacy. And what we have seen and what could be confirmed was our hypothesis. So this new regimen, the BreCAT regimen, is much more uh, better tolerated than the uh, former escalated BioCorp regimen. It's uh, not only highly significant, it's also relevant. Um, it's relevant in terms, for example, for heme toxin, in terms of transfusions. So there's the number of patients in need of red cell transfusions went down by 66%. So we could half from the patients in need of platelet transfusions. Also, the number of patients with, um, for example, um, grade 2 or higher uh, neuropathy, peripheral neuropathy went down at, uh, more than half from 14 to 6%. And also we have um, in this trial was more than 700 patients in the BRICAD arm not a single case of treatment-related mortality, which we usually see with all other regimens. You see it also with ABPD. So in terms of safety and tolerability, this is a, a not only significant, this is a relevant, a huge step forward for our patients.